boys and girls adequate i repaired you when you interrupt me in my intro boys and girls welcome back to no one has ever been as unnoticed as me brother what are you just getting all the voice lines out because i didn't equip you for three episodes shut up welcome back to follow new vegas in the last episode we completed everything in old world blues this episode believe it or not there was a problem i realized when i was looking through my videos and my notes to see what i had done in the game i haven't done the mr house ending so today we're doing the mr house ending but we can't do it from the big mountain so pull out our transportal ponder and let's hope it'll let me leave because i am quite over encumbered nope Oh, because I'm inside. All right, well, let me slink my way over to the door. And let's try now. All right, so we're back here. Like I said, I am quite over encumbered, but that'll be my burden to bear. I'm not going to show you guys that. I am going to probably quest added Kaiser's favor. Ooh, is that the reoccurring one with the drop boxes? Yes, it is. All right, we're not going to be doing that. But like I was saying, this will be my burden to bear. I'm going to probably go find the nearest vendor, offload some stuff, and then inevitably Inevitably, we're going to make our way to the gun runners because one, ya boy needs ammo. Ya boy probably needs some new weaponry and I want to sell some of the stuff I picked up along the way and they definitely are going to have the most caps to play with. So as I slink my way towards something, I will be right back. I did some drugs. I dropped some stuff that I'll have to go back for, but we are at the gun runners to offload some stuff and get some new things. So please talk to me. Welcome, sir or madam. You have 8,000 caps. Very cool. Let me start by selling you Fido. That might upset people. It's a cool gun. It has its purposes, but I just don't enjoy using it. And it's also heavy as hell. So let me get this out of my inventory right now. Same thing with the grenade launcher. Same thing with the X2 antenna. I just don't need it. And then I do have three weapons that are using the same ammo type. We have the automatic rifle, Christine's rifle, and then Paciencia. And out of those weapons, Paciencia is probably the loser. Just because Christine's rifle has a higher DPS for me and it has more bullets and higher fire rate. And then the automatic rifle is just... It's cool, but I probably also wouldn't pick it over the sniper rifle. However, there is Bozar. If you buy this, you're stupid. However, since I have over 2,200 rounds of 357 Magnum, maybe the Cowboy Repeater wouldn't be a bad idea. Or maybe I just sell all of my uh, 357 because I don't need it. I don't have a lot of shotgun ammo, but would I be better off selling Dinner Bell? Even though it's technically a legendary, but it doesn't have any bonus effects. Honestly, yeah, let's get rid of Dinner Bell. I'll take the Riot Shotgun, and then I'll spare you guys the rest of my bartering. I'll just come back and tell you what things I ended up getting that are important. Okay, so we back. I repaired my stealth suit, which is probably the biggest thing. Is pretty much on par in terms of DT with combat armor, so I'm okay with that. I bought more ammo for my anti-material rifle because we're going to be heading into the final ba boss battle, so that's going to be a crutch. I did sell Paciencia in the automatic rifle to keep Christine's uh, silenced rifle, and of note, I also bought the medicine stick. So that is where we stand after all my bartering, which it's funny because I've been technically recording for like half an hour just sitting here talking to the Vendatron, and I'm pretty sure we're like four minutes into the episode. So with that said, let's do the damn thing. Let's go into our data. Let's activate the house always wins, which is going to send us to camp. Sorry, not camp. Nellis Air Force Base, which we did this for literally every other faction. Let's head inside. Talk to Pearl. She woke up as soon as we walked in. No time to talk, outsider. Well, that's too damn bad. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? There may be a battle in the near future at the Hoover Dam. Can you offer any assistance? Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. And there's literally no other dialogue options, but this is going to be the most weird goodbye in the game because Pearl's voice actor said it weird. Don't get blown up. Oh, no, we got that option that time. Usually whenever we say bye to her, she says bye. Like she's sad we're leaving. Anyway, back outside. I didn't see what the quest actually updated to tell me. What did it say to do? Um, the optional objective is here to kill the leader, and the other objective sends us back to Mr. House, which is what we're gonna do. Let's go talk to Mr. House. 
slink our way through all the gates as one does all right let's talk robbie any progress with the boomers oh uh, yeah they're on side well done the boomers firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for hoover dam comes around probably man Your next assignment would have been to investigate the omertus but you managed to foil their scheme before i could put you to the task I should compensate you as though it were an official assignment, however. Wouldn't want to disincentivize your proactivity. What's next in line? Uh, no, it's the Omertas were clever, but no match for me. Arrogance was their undoing. There might be a lesson in that. But moving on, your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. I don't remember if there's a diplomatic solution for this or the NCR. I would like to say there is, but if possible, I would like to not blow up the Brotherhood because Mr. House is missing the context here that they're like a shell of what they were. Like their core beliefs might be fanatical about technology, but they're literally in no position to do anything about it. And honestly, they may not be opposed just to working alongside us because I mean, as long as the technology isn't being used to end the world again, I don't think they're gonna have a problem with a robot army. The only reason they've killed your robot scouts you've sent to Hidden Valley is, well, because they were under lockdown and that was scary, but any possibility of a dip diplomatic solution? We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. Yeah, and that's... What does he say if I say this? Don't tell me you've fallen for the stories of noble paladins on crusade, preserving mankind's technology in a benighted age. Dross. In any case, this is an employer-employee relationship. I've given you an assignment, and the directions are clear. That's the thing. I love New Vegas, I think it has incredible script writing, but there are things in the script that are there because the developers said so and there's no way around them. Because the Brotherhood of Steel, in my playthrough at least, they haven't persuaded me with the story of paladins and, like, noble honor and whatever. They're just a good ally if you get them on side, like, they're not threat when, especially at this point in the game, when I'm literally idolized by them, I'm pretty sure. It's just, there's no diplomatic solution because... Whoever wrote this part of the script just said it couldn't happen. There's no actual reason, but I right. You're absolutely right. You must have had run-ins with them, as have I. Since 2278, I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incident, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. It's obvious that the Brotherhood has a base in Hidden Valley or thereabouts. Finding it won't be easy, but getting inside will be the real trick. Not really, bro. You have no idea that I'm basically like one of the top five ranking officials in the Brotherhood of Steel Mojave chapter at this point. You have no idea how much they like me and how much they'd be willing to help me even if your robot army's in the way. But again, there's just no way to incorporate that thought process into the script rating, so... As that is, whatever, goodbye. We're gonna go destroy the Brotherhood, and now we're past the point of no return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caesar's Legion's mad at us. The NCR's probably mad at us. Yeah, of course, of course, as one would. Although I'm, like, not an enemy of the NCR. Like, there's probably no way to get around that. Yep, we have to go destroy the Brotherhood bunker again. I already did this in its own episode, but I'll just do it again. You cannot... What? said I hadn't discovered Hidden Valley. Ready. That was... Steady. Fighting. Oh, just bark scorpions, whatever, dude, I don't care. Where's... As always, if you're new to Hidden Valley and you want to know what bunker the Brotherhood is steal in, it is the one with the tree on top. So, whatever, we have already done this. We're going to do the exact same thing we did last time. And it'll probably be easier this time because we have the stealth suit, so... There you are. 
A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood, so we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Uh, you should not thank me, bro. You should not thank me. Look alive! Uh... Hello? Are you guys mad about the bark scorpions that we're fighting up top? Because... Watch out. Why are you following me? Am I not supposed to be here? He won't talk to me. He's chasing me like I'm an enemy. But he's not shooting me because we're not enemies. Should I be concerned? Are you going to follow me all the way through the vault? Fighting over. Or now that the fighting over dialogue did its thing, are we, are we friends? Uh, like, they're not mad at me. That was just a weird thing. I think the bark scorpions up top made them aggro. But yeah, oversimplification of what's going to happen. I'm going to go... Is it over here? I think it's over here. I We're going to go... Squad of yeah, I don't care. We're going to go to the terminal... I'm gonna pop a stealth boy, we're gonna blow up the base, and I'm gonna sneak out. As one does. Oh, you guys are gonna hate what I'm about to do. Oh, I don't have a stealth boy. I sold the one stealth boy I had in my inventory, but I do know where there are other stealth boys. Give me one sec, this is gonna break the fourth wall. I have to go back and pick them up from the uh, place you fast travel back from the big mountain too. Yeah, whenever I came back from Old World Blues, I dropped a bunch of stuff <laughs> over here, so... Uh, there's the doctor's bags, and there's the stealth boy that I can't pick up, and I'll take the other one just to be safe. Okay, well, back to Hidden Valley. All right, and now that we're back here, let's go to the plan. Stealth boy up. Completely hidden. Hack this terminal. And we're in. Begin bunker self-destruct sequence. Are you sure? Yep. Yep, they don't like me anymore, as they shouldn't. But I have a stealth boy, I have a stealth suit, I'm on the way out. And for some reason, even though there's an obvious alarm going off, they actually don't seem to care. The only problem I might run into is the turrets, but I'm pretty sure as long as I'm hidden, they don't shoot at me. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Maybe the monsters have stealth suits too. Nope, that guy doesn't have any armor on. Steady. Fighting. All right, this person's freaking out. This person got the memo that they're about to blow up. Excuse me. I'm in caution. Yes, yes, excuse me. I'm in danger. All right, whatever. I'm leaving. Have fun blowing up. I'm gone. See you later, alligator. Yep, that's a gauss rifle shooting at me. Whatever. Later. Goodbye. You're dead now. GG's. Well played. Quest failed eyesight to the blind. I have no idea what that is. Cessation of hostilities complete. I don't know what those missions are. Ready, steady, fighting. All right, back to New Vegas we go. All right, Robbie, even though that could have been solved diplomatically, they're dead. Have you destroyed the Brotherhood of Steel? Begrudgingly. Single-handedly destroying a Brotherhood of Steel bunker is quite an accomplishment. Platoons of NCR troops have died trying to do the same. This welcome news comes just in time, as events in the wider world are coming to a head. Aaron Kimball, the president of the new California Republic, is going to visit Hoover Dam to boost morale. Apparently, he hasn't considered the effect on the troops' morale of seeing their beloved leader get his brains blown out by a Legion sniper. I need you to make sure that no harm comes to President Kimball. It's fortunate that you've maintained good relations with the NCR. Uh, I, I could ask what he wants me to do, but it's, it's pretty obvious. We just keep the bro alive. Uh, well, my other options don't really give me a yes or no, so never mind. What do you want me to do? Simple. An NCR ranger named Graham is in charge of security arrangements for the visit. Present yourself to him. Let him know you want to help. Given your reputation, it's a near certainty that he'll accept your offer. Don't dally. The precise time of Kimball's visit is a closely guarded secret, but it will happen soon. You know, when it happens, I've already done this before for the independent Vegas ending with Yes Man. 
if you want a more in-depth rundown of how that quest goes, I do have another episode on that. So for the time being, we'll kind of do a condensed version of whatever I need to do. I haven't been to Hoover Dam in this playthrough yet, so let's go to Boulder City. Here's the weird part. Because technically we're past the point of no return for both the NCR and Caesar's Legion, they're not the biggest fan of me, according to the quests I failed. Because the consequence of failing Don't Tread on the Bear in the Wrath of Kaisar is that once you fail them, you're kind of enemy number one for both factions. But I don't think that'll be the case. I'm not expecting to get shot whenever I roll up to Hoover Dam right now, but we will see. Alright, I forgot there's an invisible wall here. Never mind, let me go around. Nope, you guys are not shooting me on sight. All right. I kind of assumed that. Otherwise, I don't think this quest would be doable, but have to make sure. All right. There's the snow globe again. Take it. Yes, I did. All right, Grant. What's up, bro? I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. Love to hear it. to do to prepare for the president's visit and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Yep. Good. The president doesn't arrive until... Sleep through the night, wake up, we're in the exact same place, funnily enough. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. Uh, let's get this show on the road. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. Don't take too long. Hey, we'll try my best. So like I've said, I've already done a more in-depth walkthrough of this entire mission from the Independent Vegas POV. And believe it or not, it's exactly the same. So rather than doing this again, we're just going to speed run the things. So whenever we get outside and talk to, talk to Grant again, the things we have to look for, spoiler alert, are the sniper, the dude in the crowd that runs at the stage with a knife, and then the bomb on the helicopter. And is there a tree growing hey. on the helipad? Okay, no, it's there. All right, what's up, Grant? Let's get the show on the road. I'll meet you on the observation deck. We're already here, bro. Have you finished your security sweep? No, but I know what to look for. It's kind of like deja vu, bro. Looks like that's his bird -a bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Valid. Excuse me. All right, do your thing, babe. I am curious. The first thing I'm going to do is get the bomb off the helicopter. So I'm pretty sure they go down through and come out those doors. So I'm going to go this way and go up the ladder. Authorized personnel are allowed upstairs. Please step away. I promise I'm authorized, brother. No one can go upstairs without authorization. I've always wanted to see the president's vertebird. Sorry, no can do. Pretty please. Okay. All right, thanks, man. So up we go. That guy is a spy. He just put a bomb on the vertebird. Hello, President. Examine the vertebird. There's a strange item that doesn't belong. Upon examination, you notice it's a bomb. You skillfully disable it. Yep. All right, so the bomb is taken care of. This guy is a loser. If you talk to him, he's a creeper. Do you mind? Do you mind? Yeah, he's a creeper. Okay. So that's that. Next up... I want to go up in the sniper tower. I want to see if I come up here. Does this guy still die? Like, what happens if I'm up here? I'm looking at the ground. Move along. Okay, yeah, you're still doing your thing. I'm going to chill in the corner. I want to see what happens if I'm up here. Yep. This one looks tough. Oh, that the good guy won. The good guy won. <laughs> the guy that was supposed to be on guard won. If you if you're not up here, he gets assassinated. But when you're up here, I guess he has to be aware of his surroundings, so he wins. He just kills the guy. That's so crazy. We need to keep Jeremy Jeremy Watson Watson never had any I, I bet, bro. I bet. Was a guard on the short loop. And his mother, like many I found a Legion sniper on the roof of the tower. Damn it. I 
Just a process. The Legion actually got someone past our security. Good job catching them. I'll have a security team sweep the area to see if the Legion has any more surprises for us. I'm also canceling the President's speech. We'll have a security team get him out of here right away. But let's not relax until he's safe. Hey, Valid, dude. All right, I gotta go back down. And then some dude is gonna rush the stage. Yeah, there he is. I don't have a gun. Oh, this is awkward. Oh, uh, well, he killed in security detail, but I guess the president's still alive. Could have went a little better, but... Oh, yeah, I'm not allowed on the stage. It's still technically a no-no area. Don't touch the stage. They're... They don't like that. Uh, anyway, bombs defuse. President's gonna skedaddle skadoodle away. He'll be fine. And that... You'll know when it happens completed. And a level up. Not that that's part of the quest, but it did happen. No, I'm just gonna put literally everything into barter because I don't see the point in leveling anything else I don't use up. And if you want to, I'm pretty sure Ranger Grant does have some dialogue, but if he doesn't say anything, I'm not going to be surprised either. Good job today. We got the president out safe and sound. I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks. You're welcome, bro. All right, I got to go back and talk to my actual boss. You're my best friend forever. You know what? Thank you. I'll accept that because my companions have disappeared. I don't know where they went. They've been missing for quite a while. Like, even before I went into Old World Blues, my companions are just gone, dude. I have no idea where they're at. Uh, let's head back upstairs and get into Boss Man's room. And to Blue Balls everybody, this is where I'm going to call this episode. Next episode, we'll do the final push for the actual Battle of Hoover Dam for Mr. House. The House Always Wins Part 6, I think. But until then, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, like and comment down below. Drop a subscribe if you're new to the channel. And uh, don't be alarmed if you're watching this when it goes up about all the uh, Black Ops content that's going to be coming out soon. It's just we're getting the other games done before the one comes out. And then the new game comes out and we're just going to jump into that again. Just bad timing on my part for the most part. But... We're not always going to be posting that much Call of Duty, but until next time, boys and girls, a pizza.